Have you ever opened your Bible and just got terrified by the beasts and horns in the books of Daniel and Revelation? Maybe you read your Bible and don't understand the thing. Well, today that's going to change. You're going to discover the meaning of the symbols in the Bible. Please watch until the end. You'll appreciate. If this video will benefit you in any way, please give the glory to God, not me. Let's start. Babylon represents religious confusion. A beast represents a kingdom or king or government or political power. Blasphemy means claiming to be equal with God. Book eating means assimilating the message. Candlesticks represent seven churches of revelation. Crowns represent real authority or kingship. A day represents one literal year. A door represents opportunity or probation. A dragon represents Satan devil or his agency, pagan Rome as Satan's instruments. An eagle represents speed, power, vision, it's also a symbol for Babylon. A false prophet represents apostate protestantism. Fire means executive judgment. Horns represents a king, power or kingdom. Fire represents the Holy Spirit. A lamb represents Jesus Christ. The lamb's wife represents New Jerusalem. A sickle represents harvest, the end of the world. Stars represents angels or messengers. A seal means mark of approval or disapproval. Time represents one year, either literal or prophetic. The two witnesses represents the Old and New Testament. Waters represents peoples. Winds represents wars, conflicts, fights, judgment. Wings represent speed, swiftness, quickness in battle. An impure or corrupt woman represents corrupt apostate church, false religious system. A pure woman represents a genuine and faithful church, children of God. The wrath of God is the seven last plagues. A dove represents the Holy Spirit. Unleavened bread represents Jesus' body. Wine or grape juice represents Jesus' blood. Baptism symbolizes dying, resurrecting, and living a new life with Jesus. Incense represents prayers or prayers of the saints. The statue of Daniel 2 represents four kingdoms. The feet of the statue represents divided Rome, modern Europe. The stone that struck the image represents God's kingdom. The four beasts of Daniel 7 represents four kingdoms. Fire represents God. Rivers of living water represents the Holy Spirit. The vine represents Jesus Christ. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. A dog represents someone who goes back to sin after receiving the truth. A pig represents someone who goes back to sin after receiving the truth. The field represents the world. The wheat represents God's people. The test represents the wicked. The soul of the good seeds represents the son of man. The sower of the bad seeds represents Satan. The harvest represents the end of the world. The reapers represents the angels. The wheat being set aside and the test being burnt represents when God's people will be saved to enter his kingdom, but the wicked will be destroyed with fire. I hope you have learned enough to make you enjoy your Bible to the fullest. If this video was helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. Amen.